Hey, what is going on everyone? Today we're going to talk about my personal top 5 loadouts in Warzone. These are some of what I've been trying out recently. Let me know in the comments what is your favourite loadout. Don't forget, if you like this kind of content, hit the subscribe button and make sure to ring the bell so you don't miss out on any of my new videos. I'm Average Dad and let's go. Now my first loadout is your standard, reliable assault rifle sniper combo. I'm using the M13 because this gun is a freaking laser. For the attachments, we have the Tempest Mini for that aim down sight speed, the TAC laser, the old stipple grip, the Commando foregrip for the recoil, and the 50 round mag for when you have to take on more than one. This will cover our close and medium range encounters, and with all the ADS boosts, it keeps it nice and snappy to, to get into engagements. For our long range, we're running the AX50. Now, I know a lot of people prefer the HDR, but personally, this just feels smoother and less bulky to me. On this, we have the 32 inch factory barrel, the monolithic suppressor, Syncard Arms Marksman stock, rubberized grip tape, and I really like the FMJ on this. This setup, setup is not designed to be fast, but it hits like a truck, and it has amazing range. I've gone for the standard scope, purely out of my own personal preference, this is to be used more in your traditional types, traditional sniper. From a vantage point, not really on the move. For our lethal, we've gone proximity mines just to help stop anyone creeping up on you, and a heartbeat sensor for obvious reasons. In fact, all of my loadouts have the heartbeat sensor. It's like a mini personal radar. For perks, we're running EOD, overkill for obvious reasons, and amped just to help switch out those weapons a little bit faster in a pinch just in case you do get caught short with someone rushing you. The next loadout is more of your faster paced precision class. We have the same M13 as before but this time we're using the tracker perk along with C4 for our lethal. Tracker to me is massively underrated. It's great to be able to see where someone is running to. For our secondary we have the car 98k. For the attachments, we use the TAC laser, the FTAC sport stock, stipple grip tape just to help make this agile and snappy. We have FMJ for the added damage and a sniper scope just to help with the range. This rifle is quick and it is accurate and it pairs really nicely with the M13 in the class. It's quick, the whole thing is accurate and it just works well. Right, our next one is not going to be your main go to but it does serve two tactical purposes and we will talk about them shortly so for this you want an SMG now I've gone MP5 with a monolithic suppressor a collapsible stock a commando foregrip and the stipple grip tape we've also put on the 45 round mag just so you can make sure you've got those extra rounds when you need them the MP5 is lovely and reliable and it will handle pretty much any scenario you throw at it now for the secondary Quite frankly, you want any pistol. It's not massively important, but what is really, really important is the perk. You want to put fully loaded in that perk slot. The main reason is because in Warzone, SMG and pistol ammo, they are exactly the same. Therefore, fully loaded pistol, full SMG ammo. Then pair this with EOD, Ghost, and Amped, along with our trusty C4, and you're good to go. Well kinda. Now for your tactical reasons for this loadout. First one, get it on your second loadout. Drop it purely for the ghost perk. Swap the weapons that you already had before and then carry on playing as you were. Just this time you've got two primaries and the ghost perk active. Happy days. The other reason, and this can be more important, is after you drop back in after the gulag. Now you've, you've been in the match for a good while, everyone's already picked up the good gear. Ammo and weapons, they are sparse on the ground. You've dropped back in, you've got a pistol, you're at a disadvantage. Grab this loadout as fast as you can. That way, you've got an SMG fully loaded, you don't need to worry about ammo, you don't need to worry about anything. You are ready to fight as needed, and then you can pick up, once you've taken some people down, you can take their guns. 
Now, my last two, I'm going to go over together, really. The main purpose of this is you want to grab both loadouts to complete the full loadout. This is your run and gun setup. It is designed to get you in a building, clear it out, and go. Hence why I've named them Breach and Clear. First up is the M4A1. And on this, we're running Monolithic Suppressor, the M16 stock, Merc 4 grip, rubberized grip tape, and that nice 60 round mag. This gun just has great recoil control and enough rounds to really keep you firing when you need it. For the next loadout, we're going to be running with my baby, the MP5, with the monolithic integral suppressor, the collapsible stock, the stipple grip tape, the Merc 4 grip just for that added hip fire accuracy, and the 45 round mag. It is fast, it is sharp, and it can tear down a room very quickly. You want to pick any secondary really that you want, it doesn't particularly matter because the end game is to pick up both loadouts. Pick a C4 for your lethal. For our perks, we're going to be running EOD and Tracker. And something that I personally think a lot of people are sleeping on at the moment. And that perk is Hardline. Hardline in Warzone works very differently and it is great. What it does is it cuts the cost of all your kill streaks, your armor plates, and your field upgrades at the vendor by 25%. That is a quarter off. This is incredibly helpful. What this will allow you to do is it gets you to buy UAVs a lot. That is your primary focus with this loadout. Get to the vendor, double up on your UAVs, pop one, pick up the second one. Try and almost always have a UAV run in before you try and run into any building. That way, you've got a better idea where anyone is and hopefully that's going to be giving you the main advantage with these two loadouts the first one that I'll go for does depend on what I pick up when I hit the ground if I get to my first loadout and I've already got a good AR then I'm going to pick the SMG class first if I get to the loadout and I've already got a good SMG or maybe even a nice little sniper I'll pick the other class, I'll pick the assault rifle class. It all really depends on what you've already picked up. So that's really down to you. But the main purpose is you pick up both in the end. Now that's it for today. I really hope you've enjoyed this video and hopefully you found something useful and helpful out of it. Don't forget to drop a like and hit that subscribe button and I'll see you in the final circle.